Good morning, everyone. My name is Hajime Onuki from Ajinomoto. Thank you from very much for coming to today's seminar regarding on the consistent and efficient IPS ES cell culture system with a novel animal origin free culture. And, uh, you know, we are facing a very severe situation due to the new coronavirus, but I hope you enjoy today's seminar and this seminar will help your stem cell research. So let's start it. So first I'd like to introduce our company, Ajinomoto. So the headquarter is located in Tokyo and we have 3,000 employees in the unit and we have uh, more than 34,000 employees as a Ajinomoto group. Actually, we are global leading amino acid suppliers and we have long experience in providing a clinical grade amino acid. In addition to amino acid, we are also providing seasoning and processing food and frozen food and some healthcare product such as a cosmetic and culture media for stem cell research. You know that the first human ES cells was established in 1998 by James Thompson and first human IPS cells was reported in 2007 by Dr. Shinya Yamanaka and also James Thompson. And now there are many progress in the stem cell research field in both basic research and clinical research. This table briefly shows some examples of the clinical research by using human iPS cells. The first human iPS cells clinical research was performed by Professor Masayo Takahashi in 2004, and she transplanted autologous iPS-derived retina cells to the patient. And she reported that there was no adverse event one year after transplantation and this report suggests that the potential safety of human iPS cells. And now there are many type of uh, clinical research or clinical trials by using human iPS cells. And in future, uh, this number of clinical research are increasing year by year. Also, there are many progress in the stem cell research there are, still some, there are still some challenges of the pre, pluripotent stem cell research. For example, inconsistency of experimental result and regulatory barriers for clinical application and labor intensive cloning process and expensive culture cost. So these are challenging for the stem cell research. Some scientific report clearly show that the culture reagent, such as culture media, growth factors, or scaffold protein, affect the quality and safety of cell product. Especially the animal or human derived reagent, such as a BSA or BSA containing reagent, and FBS or mouse derived scaffold, such as matrice, has a potential risk of the inconsistency and unsafety. For example, such animal or human derived product has the risk of the immunogenic contamination. And also such product has large variation through the lot to lot because of the difference of donor. In the regulatory aspect, the animal derived component is recognized as a risk for cell therapy. US regulation, USP 143, clearly described that the animal derived materials has higher risk compared to the other product. So these animal derived products are not ideal for the cell therapy or the manufacturing of cell therapy product. So that's why animal origin flea is important. 
So this slide shows the animal origin free. Uh, what, what is that animal origin free? So for example, like culture media, there are some type of categories like serum free media or xeno free media or animal origin free media. The serum free media can contain the BSA and xeno free media sometimes contain the human derived material like human serum derived HSA or human plate lysate. And this animal or human derived product has the potential risk of the immunogenic contamination or rot to rot variation. On the other hand, animal, animal origin free product does not contain this human or animal derived product. So it has negligible risk of the immunogenic contamination and minimum rot to rot variation because it does not have the donor variation. So that's why the AOF culture system supports the consistent and regulatory compliant cell production. So we recommend to switch from the animal or human derived product to the AOF product because such human or animal derived product has a risk of the variation and sometimes it is prohibited for the cell therapy product. So we are providing AOF culture media stem fit and we think that this media can be solution for stem cell research. This stem fit product has four big features, consistent performance and regulatory compliance and easy single cell cloning and significant cost reduction. This slide shows the performance still fit the media. These data are provided by a British company, CCT Catapult. They compare the commercially available culture media for the pluripotential expansion, and they found that the stem fit media showed the higher performance in the cell expansion, and also iPS cells cultured in stem fit media maintain the similar gene expression profile through many passages. So these data show that the stem fit media has the higher cell growth performance and also the stable gene expression profile. Also, stem fit media is widely used in the clinical research field. In Japan, Stem fit media was officially com confirmed by PMDA. This is the Japanese authority for the pharmaceutical and the medical devices to be usable for clinical application. And in United States or other country, GMP compliant product is also available as necessary. Now, the clinical grade IPS cells or ES cells are manufacturing or manufactured by using stem fit media. And also, many clinical research for iPS derived cell therapy are going on with our stem fit media. For example, world first clinical study with iPS derived corneal cells is proceeding with stem fit media. Because stem fit media is regulatory compliant and it's usable for the clinical application. And currently, we launch the stem fit for differentiation supplement. This is a serum replacement supplement for the iPS ES cell differentiation. This supplement is also animal free, origin free and can be used for the uh, differentiation. For example, this slide shows the performance for the endoderm differentiation, like a hepatocyte. Usually, a B27 supplement or a KSR are used in the differentiation process, but these products sometimes contain the BSA or animal derived product. So it's not ideal for the stable gene express, stable differentiation. So we replace these supplements to the stem for differentiation supplement. 
and we found that the mature hepatocytes was obtained with high quality and high gene expression performance. And this supplement can be used for other type of cells like the mesoderm and also ectoderm. So this supplement can be used for three lineages, including uh, mesoderm, endoderm, and ectoderm with uh, high quality and high performance. So we believe that the animal origin free product uh, can, can be a solution for the inconsistency and layer three barriers. But there are still some challenges such as a labor-intensive cloning process and expensive culture cost. So with StemFit, the easy single-cell cloning is available because StemFit shows the higher cloning performance compared to other commercially available media. iPS cells or ES cells do not grow well under very low seeding density, and that's why single cell cloning is difficult for pluripotent stem cells. But stem cells cultured in stem fit media showed higher cloning efficiency compared to other culture media. So this media, stem fit media, enable a very single, a very easy and simple single cell cloning. And also stem fit media contributes to reduce the cost of the culture media because it enables weekend free feeding. The conventional culture media required daily medium change. So researchers need to change the culture media every day. So, but stem fit media only required three times or four times medium change per week. So this feature contribute to reduce the cost of the culture media. For example, the conventional culture media requires ATML culture me uh, ATML volume per well per week because researchers need to change culture media every day. Or other weekend free culture media required uh, 30 ml per well per week. On the other hand, step only required 7 ml per well per week because the skeptic media does not require double feeding uh, before a weekend. And in the six well plate, this media only required 1.0 ml culture media. On the other hand, other commercial available media usually required 2.0 ml per well. That's why skeptic media uh, enable the significant cost reduction compared to the other commercial media. So this slide shows the, our main AOF product, Basic O3, and currently we launch new product, step to Basic O4 complete time. This media is the optimized version of the Basic O3 and composed of only one bottle. So it's completely ready to use. This media, so has the more affordable pricing. So, and I, as I explained before, we launched the stem fit for differentiation. This media enabled to manufacture the target tissue and the AOF culture condition. And Ajinomoto also providing growth factors. These growth factors are also animal origin free and enabled to manufacture. Uh, target tissue under a wave condition. So, as a summary, the first animal or human derived product has potential risk for inconsistency and unsafety, which is not ideal for stem cell research or clinical application. Second, animal origin free culture system support consistent and regulatory compliant cell production. And finally, STEMFIT provides AOF culture system with 
highly efficient cloning performance and significant cost reduction. So that's all. Thank you for your uh, attention.